Hello, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, please like, please comment, please tell me know what you think about the video, what you think about my thoughts. I'm sure none of you are surprised to hear that the event was delayed, but I do have the data mine with all of the information, so I will be giving that to you in this video. Now, I know this is no surprise, this is from the same group that released a mole miner event that had people feeling bad for the mole miners, and then the rewards were bad. And then when everyone complained, their response was, we're extending the event. So let's read this. Hi everyone. After activating the Fajnot Parade today, we have discovered an issue that will prevent us from keeping it online this week. We are going to disable it for now while we investigate a fix. Once the issue is resolved, we will reschedule Fajnot Parade for a later date. We apologize for this delay in bringing back Fajnot. We know many of you are looking forward to its return. We will let you know as soon as we have info to share on the status of the fix, as well as our plans to reschedule the event. Thank you very much. Now, that comes as no surprise. The bug that is happening involves critter intestines. This bug has existed since the release of Wastelanders and was not fixed from what I can tell. Now, what I do have is this here. This is going to be all of the data mine about the event. Now, as you can see, you will get rewards up to having the five bots alive. Five bots alive is the rewards I'm going to talk more about in this, but we can get 60 caps. We can get a hold of random legendaries up to three star. Now there is an asterisk. If I go down and look, I'm sure there's, we'll read later what that means. And treasury notes, no matter how bad you do, essentially, as long as it doesn't fail, your first trip through will get you the, the beer stains display case. You'll also get the Fajnot not severe beer stein. It's a stein, not a stain. I'm sorry. And you'll get this after um, your, basically your first drop. It won't come again and it's not tradable. Now, after that, we have the balloons. Now, the balloons, you have balloons one, balloons two, garland one, garland two, and you can see the drop rates for all of these, the flagpoles, the confetti, the garland, all of these drop rates, these recipes are 3.45% no matter what you do. They stay the same. So these are going to be your basic rewards. You get yourself some sausage, get yourself some donut, your mega sauce uh, pelt. I'm not going to read all of it. You can see those for yourselves. Pause the video if you'd like. And all of them are the same. Now, here is where the headwear comes in. Now, these are the headwear that are common. Now, as you can see, you, if you want the common headwear, you actually don't want to perfect the event. If you get a perfect event run with five alive, you will receive a lower chance at these. Of course, you always want to get the better headwear. You'll get these anyway. Your best chance is a 10% and lowest is 4.75. Now. Headwear Uncommon. As you can see, if you only have uh, one or two bots alive, you will never get these, okay? So the commons are the soldier, the toothy man, the witch mask, the giant mask, and the owl mask. Headwear Uncommon is the gesture mask, the sun mask, the skull mask, the barrette, and a goblin mask. As you can see, it's 10% for if you have three to four bots alive, or it is 14.25% if you have all five bots alive. Now, after that becomes the rare headwear. This is the one that's going to be very hard to get. You're going to have the Raven mask, the Deathclaw mask, the Winterman mask, the Crazy Guy mask, and the other Winter helmet, which is used on the T45 base power armor. Now, these are only a 5% drop chance if you have all five alive, with each one of these being a 1% drop themselves. So if you do this event absolutely perfect, you will get guaranteed a recipe. And then you have a 23.75% chance of a common mask, a 71.25% chance of a uncommon mask, and just a 5% chance of this rare headwear. Now, as we go down, here's some more tips and information about the event. The event happens every hour, in, on the hour, every hour in Helvetica. Helvetia. I think that's how you pronounce that. After the event shows on the map, be sure to talk to the Master of Ceremonies handy on the bridge before the timer runs down or the event will not start. When looking for active bots, check the baker on the yellow house first and get him the eggs he needs quickly. He has the longest distance to walk to the parade start and can really run down the clock. Blow up all of the vehicles along the parade route prior to the event starting to avoid issues later. Rewards are based on the number of surviving bot marchers only. You can use the friendly fire perk and a shish kebab to heal the bots. Collect and save more intestines than you need. This is the part that was glitched. You could not actually obtain intestines. So 
This is where things got bad. If the event is nuked, the small creatures may not spawn and the event may not be completable. The event is nuked. Bring a rad suit as opposed to power armor in case one of the tasks is to play instruments. You won't be able to do that in power armor. Make it happen looking at all the wood piles around town. You'll need some for the one as well as helping complete the collect wood challenge. Steins and honey can be built up in your inventory without you realizing it. Check to see if you find yourself overweight. Near the end of the event, be careful that wolves, bugs don't kill the remaining robots while everyone is trying to tag a legendary enemy. If any die at this phase, it'll negatively impact the rewards. And there's all of the discords with the mining, the plan collectors, everything that was used in this. I will have the link to this spreadsheet in the description. So essentially what we have is a pretty much I think we can consider this a failed event. OK, I think it's fair that we call this a failed event. Um, the previous event with the mole miners is boring. It's just boring. And they've extended it. They, I wonder if they'll extend it to uh, the rest of the week, maybe until the Foshnot comes up. If not, we're simply going to have a time frame without any events. It kind of sucks because, as I said in my last video, I don't play the game much. I'm not, like, big into the game. I, uh essentially just come on for events and if something new update uh, some new update interests me and we've gotten to the point now where we are at two events in a very short period of time one was just not super enjoyable the rewards are not great and we also have this new event which you can't even do oh tails here it's kind of sad um, I don't even hear a beep. It's kind of sad that, uh, the game is in this state, but if you want to see me get mole miners and how I was farming them earlier, you can check, uh, my videos or the video on that. Uh, if you do like things like Animal Crossing or Terraria or a bunch of random stuff, my channel's got a lot of random stuff. I've been doing a random variety of games. Um... I just thought I would mention this event. I didn't do the event last year. I was burned out of it. So I was like, okay, I was actually excited. This was going to be something that I was going to do. I was going to make content on, hopefully, even though I'm bad at the game. And I was hoping to enjoy the event. So for me, it's a real bummer that they still haven't figured out. I don't know the basics like. People were complaining about critters not spawning correctly and issues like that since Wastelanders. It was avoided. It was not fixed. They have this event planned and they seem surprised that there was a problem with critters, even though it was, you know, seemed pretty well known that there was an issue with them and the developers released the event not knowing about it. I don't know. I, I hope they do something to compensate. Uh, maybe mole miners, maybe give the mole miners a longer time to be here and increase the drop rate. Maybe give them two pails, three pails, you know, something like that at least. Um, maybe release mole miners into more areas of the map so you can actually farm them for legendaries that are viable for your character instead of these low level legendaries. Something like that would be pretty nice. But it's doubtful. It's doubt that, doubtful that we'll get anything because they're going to be fixing uh, their current problems with the parade. I don't know. I just want to have fun with the game. And this was, you know, farming farming Camden Park repeatedly wasn't the most fun for me. Um, the parade does seem to bring some life to it, some nice cosmetics. And I was like, okay. I could get into this. It could be ha could have some fun and it doesn't work for, you know, a bug that they've already known about. I know I'm rambling, but it's just a bummer. I live in West Virginia and this game has every time I get excited about this game, uh, it just seems to just smack me back down. Like I got excited about um, Fallout 76 Nuclear Winter and that was pretty good. And then I find out that everything is basically time locked. And that kind of, you know, killed the game for me. I'm not a big fan of time locked content. Uh, so I was very, very much not happy with that. And uh, that kind of put me off continuing to play 
have not done the have not done enough of the time lock content. Don't have most of that stuff unlocked. Don't really have the drive to unlock. Um, kind of hoping they'll eventually realize they don't have to time lock it. Maybe they'll just wait a period of time until enough people have unlocked it, and they'll go, okay, now you can grind as much as you want, and I can go and enjoy the game and unlock different events and do like different armor and stuff and have fun with that. Um, script limits are still a big bummer. It's just there's so much that hasn't been fixed that seems anti-player. Wait, give me that. that. So I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that they I hoping they take this chance to maybe make the mole miner event a little more worth doing while we wait. But I get the feeling it'll just be no changes followed by uh. How is that Scorch Zealot all the way over there hitting me? All, no changes followed by a uh, event that, you know, they've already made before that somehow doesn't work this time around. Actually never gone down here. Cool. But yeah, I hope that uh, I hope the earlier part of this video actually gave you some information. I'm sorry for my rambling. I just really wanted to enjoy the event, and in Bethesda fashion, things don't work correctly.